feel so bad, but the shit damage down onto players like Doki, you'll be feeling that all the way through to the end of the round. The hunt for the first continue for the first kill continues here as Breedy and Shaikul are looking to move in team. towards that. It's going to have to. There's going to be a bloodbath in about 10 or 15 seconds. There's only 25 left on the clock. Ren Shiro is going to be downed outside the vault. Will be finished off by Alamo with that impact nade. Shaikul goes down to Alamo as well. Big Ryan coming in from the Azami. Breedy, however, is able to get into that plant spot, but the smoke canister will force him back away, taking lungfuls of damage. He has to move to a secondary spot. We've got Doki Great out cover. You down 2v2 and sorry 3v3 effectively and the plant is going to be secured but here comes Alamo on the flank Prano as well joins in the party and it's 1v2 now for G2 but Virtue is down so effectively 1v1 unless Citizen has a opportunity to pick him up he's going to go for the challenge though he's looking into study corridor oh. he finds his man gets the kill onto a fall and will be able to disable that activated diffuser great enter the round for G2 Somewhat unusually, we've got our second game of the night where Thatcher is available, and no surprise, he's being brought along. It's going to be Lems playing Thatcher, the EMP grenade going out there and just allowing that pantry wall to be opened up. There's the Nitro from Virtue! That was the one that I wanted to see. Always fun to watch a pulse, but immediately traded out by Shaiko. Lems on Prano and Breedy, he's in a position to get this Again. diffuser down. As this is Des, this is super early. 1 minute 20 still on the clock, but he's successful. And G2 are left having to fight their way back into sight on a retake. Doki. Okay. He's going to find the first onto Shaiko. It's now a 3v3. Breeder gets one. They're going in either direction, but ultimately now it's a 1v2. It's Alamo versus Breeder and Rafal. It's one of those where you look at and just think for Alamo, he had a massive 3k back in round one. And is this his time to shine up once again? With only about 10 seconds left to find two kills and the verticals in full control of BDS. I just simply don't see it happening at this point, Tim. So this one should feel much more stabilized out. Breeder, he plants, he kills, he does the lot. And BDS bring it up to one on one. Same right, boys. A minute and 30 left. We're going for a plan. We're going in to make a play happen here. And I think what G2 are doing here with Doki in this round, especially, is really smart. Get out in the map, look to challenge them early on, and find a wonderful opener onto a foul. That's the sort of stuff you're looking for. Into a second. The down goes the Finker as well. You've lost both those big entries here as well. Much better from G2. Disrupt BDS. Force them to play that really awkward mid round that they aren't very strong in. And that is where you'll find victory. Fantastic start from G2 there. And that is exactly what this team needs to do. It needs to find a way. And I just as I was making the point, thank you, Citizen. Dorky, Citizen, they've got to. Alamo just taking a peek there out from Statuary towards Master Window. But he's not going to overdo it there. He doesn't need to. Ooh. Dorky's backing him up and absolutely slaps a lems off the master bed there. And that leaves us now in a 1v4. No choice of Breeder but to try and get himself inside the map. Goes through the window, gets shut down by Alamo, who was holding the line with his army. And that is G2 taking round number three, two, one now. And it comes in and takes out the second, but it, it is gonna met move. by Here a dot. It is met by a Toxic Babe Canister. So that's going to hold Bait. the push on maps though for now. Easy. Citizen, yes, that's what we needed from him, was the kill on to Elems. That's the kind of stuff you want. Yeah, one coming back the other way. Shaiko, the nade coming through finally and finding its target. Even through Magnets, ADSs, you name it. But Doki's got into a second here. I believe he's playing down in study. So worked his way up main stairs. Didn't get tagged. Now it's this awkward kind of bottleneck that BDS are being forced into on this north, north side door. Renshiro won back at least. It's a two versus three. But BDS have once again just crumbled here. Some of it to that downstairs aggression. I say that. They've managed to swing it back, Tim. Citizen is on 25 HP. A single bullet will see him gone from either these guns i imagine they're trying to find the man but can't quite collect drops away down and doki also down to a slither of hp ranchero is going to have an opportunity to get the diffuser down now rafal's on the cover as they try to move back upstairs doki makes a challenge can't find his man citizen pushing from the far side as well doki gets ranchero it's all up oh. to rafal he finds one can he find the second he's just got the low health citizen to deal with but oh. no <laughs> citizen once again second again. time this game will get the kill will get the clutch and will disable the activated diffuser. The attacks could look a lot better. Prano looking for a challenge here out towards Mud, but the man just not taking his chances. That's it. He knows that there's 45 seconds left to go and he is more valuable at this point inside of sight because that's where the pressure is mounting. Rafal manages to find Alamo who was on low health anyway, but it is down to two, down to one as Virtue finds Rafal in a late trade, but now finds himself also in a 1v3. Makes a challenge, but they've got him from every angle. And once again, 
game. BDS are able to win that offside. It's getting replaced two, three, four times over by keeper barriers. Well, this is it. It's very risky to take those keeper barricades down with a sledgehammer because you're completely defenseless for a second or two. It drops from in front of you and you've got your sledgehammer out. You're still bringing your rifle back to bear. So it's a problem. We have a kill go one in either direction. Virtue is going to find Renshiro and that leaves us now in a 3v3 time. Could become the enemy for BDS here. Breeder just spotting out that lesion, putting down the goo mine and therefore knows that he's on Astro stairs. So he can hold this position. But as ever, the clock works in the favour of the defenders. Citizen doesn't actually need to move here. Breeder is going to have to do something and one will. One. Prano managing to trade out Rafal after he finds Virtue and that leaves us 1v1. But Bulletproof Cam on the side of Breeder tells exactly where he is. Prano knows the fight is coming but still can't win it. Breeder finds his man. We know how good he is in those clutch situations and he delivers once again. Spectacularly in the first five seconds. I'm just not sure they've got the numbers at the minute. That's my concern. Doki's going to go absolutely full tilt into sight. Does manage to get himself involved. He's gone on a clearance and he finds one. Alamo gets Breede as well along the way to open things up but Shaiko, he's able to take down the shielded blitz mm. and that leaves us now in a 3v. So it's not really uh, the best tandem to have with getting those vertical nades. Now then, keep a barricade. Oh, is going to seal off the door. Shaiko is going to seal Prano off as he manages to find himself a kill. 2v2. 25 seconds off to go. G2 need to get moving. Citizens find himself challenging Shaiko, but there's likely only Virtue. to be one winner with that shield. Oh Shaiko, it doesn't matter. Front side, back side. He'll find you. He'll kill you. He'll shut you down. Citizen, he's looking to get himself inside his sight, but he's going to have to work through a keeper barricade here as all ports of entry have been closed off to him. Steps through Renshiro with a headshot. BDS with a first successful defence and that's 4-3 and the lead for the first time here for the French team. Gonna continue to wail on each other all the way to the end of this one potentially into overtime oh, but Shaiko no. manages to take the jump out and shut down Prano. This one is it was already hot but it's heating up even more. He's just slipped through the net there and he's straight through the spider's web, weaved through the eye, the needle. Beautiful stuff from Shaiko. Yes, gets traded out by Doki, which is a great bit of cover coming back in. But how on earth he's got past G2 drones there and got out that window is anyone's guess. Citizen, one more back and it looks like G2 might start equalizing this one up, Tim, given they're already in a four versus two. But we've seen them throw away the lead in the previous round. This time around, it might be a different story. Doki gets a massive 3K in the round and G2 find themselves at four and four. He didn't need a zero and 12, Tim. He's already sat at 11 and 5 and really dragging his team through a couple of these rounds. We had the 3K in the prior, the 3K back in round three really is doing God's work to keep G2 competitive. He is. And the, the, the thing is, that's a very fair point about Dorky and about the rest of the players on this G2 side as Virtue manages to find a kill onto Shaiko. Dorky finds his 12th onto Renshiro and it's 5v2, 5v1 as Alamo gets Breede flawless uh. as Virtue gets another onto Rafal and G2 take another round here to go to 5-4 on the scoreboard. Some nasty shots with the Aruni. I know he got traded out in that second round, but the first one especially was where he held down the four inside of Aviator and got a couple of kills. And I hate myself. I've just said held down the four. It's hold the four, not hold down the four. It's not going to fly away. And I should know this by now. Shoko gets a second in the round and really starts getting things moving for the side of BDS who find themselves in this four versus three. The first candle that came from Alamo and you thought maybe you'd see some movement, but instead, no. Everything's kind of paused here for a second. Yokai is being relocated. No doubt drone works coming through as well. And here comes another candela inside of the bar. No, he's going to miss and potentially flash up Citizen who has to dip away. That's a small mistake to make, but one that now ruins the element of surprise. Alems gets one back. In goes Alamal, blasted out, not just by the shotgun, but also by the yokais. Citizens left one before he finds one, but can't find the rest. BDS take a pretty convincing round win. Preventing them from moving inside. That could be a difficulty if they don't get that area cleared, because if they come to a point where they think we just have to push into sight, they could do that. They could get themselves a couple of kills. They could get themselves an opportunity to put the diffuser down, but Alems and Renshiro up on the top floor will be able to hold it off with that vertical superiority. Citizen, he manages to move in on a backstab, but taken down immediately by Shaiko on the trade. Lems finds Doki, Prano on to Breedy. 3v1, it's all up to Prano. He needs to find himself kills and he needs to find them now. 35 seconds, but this is a bad situation. Outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered, and Renshiro is going to put him down from above. Um, and just be able to cut off any rotate from 90 that should try to come back through, but what about that from Shaiko? Well, 
<laughs> Oryx in the last round, Alibi in this round, takes the run out, finds Virtue on Study Balcony, who is unprepared for the attack, uh, and a Lems, he finds Alamo on Wolf Window, and Shiro on to Dorky BDS are flying, and it's flawless, Des, it's flawless as they finish G2 off and take all three.